In today's clean, Hi friends, welcome to another clean with us. Today we're cleaning linen closets. Be on the lookout today because we definitely had a couple of bumps and bruises along the way when we were cleaning out this closet. I guess we were just maybe being a little clumsy. The person that we're cleaning the house for is one of our friends, so we were really grateful and privileged to be able to clean out this closet for them. It, they just moved in recently, so they needed time to get things set up, and they said, hey, why don't you guys just do it for me? And we love that. So this person is a good friend of ours, but also a single mom who really is working hard. She just bought herself a condo, and we are just really grateful to be able to help her get her home set up. I reckon we should take a moment to introduce ourselves. I'm Lana. And I'm Laura. And we're the Tidy Two, and we love to clean and tidy. Did I mention we're identical twins? For most of our projects, Lana is the mastermind, so tell us about what inspired you for this. I just looked on Pinterest for closet organization. That's the truth of it, and came up with so many ideas, but needed to make sure we found products that could match. That turned out to be a little bit trickier than we thought. So spoiler alert, our shopping trip was kind of a dud and we ended up not using a lot of the products and instead got a lot of the baskets and organizers from my mother-in-law. Two of Lana's favorite things, one, tidying and shopping. I knew that Lana trusted me on this shopping trip alone, so I was here to impress. Look at these baskets. She said baskets. So these totally came from my Pinterest uh, board idea and they were really inexpensive. Two baskets for 10 bucks and wicker baskets are very expensive. And then ultimately we didn't use them. These baskets we end up using for the bonus clip and I find out I guess that I like the color gray a lot. And we're back to the chaos. Okay, so now we are on one of our final boxes. We have two more containers in our sort. And basically I'm gonna go through and again, put things in categories. So we have body wash, which actually is our first one. We have a bath section though. Dry shampoo goes in the hair. That's, that made it surprisingly. Clothing needs to go in the laundry. And again, I just do this over and over again. You hear nothing. I just hit the cap. I didn't mean to. So sorry. Razor goes there. Okay. Where was baby? Um. I don't have a baby pile yet. We all, I only have baby powder. You found some here. I'll t I have I have wipes over here that are not in a pile yet. So and what about um, uh, nails? Did we decide that? Uh, beauty. Oh, 
Our goal is to set our friends up for success after we leave. So we didn't want to bother her with decluttering now, but once we have the categories and baskets, the ultimate goal is that she'd be able to go through a basket a day to decide whether or not she needs the products that are in there. One cleaning tip about sorting into categories is it is helpful to make a list. I like to preview the space I'm working in and then basically just with a pen and a paper, list out the different categories that I'm gonna be sorting. So we realized that we might need a different container for her stuff. So now we're going to start sorting towels and we decided to move the beach towels down to the basement with the summer things and fold the rest of the towels that she had right here in the closet. I love being at this point in a project where you can finally see the progress happening. And going through something like these drawers or medicine cabinets, sometimes it's hard to part with things, especially you're like, well, what if I get sick? What if I need it? One good tip that I would recommend is just looking at the expiration dates. You're not gonna take anything that's past the expiration date anyway, so you can get rid of that stuff. And then you can check your inventory and restock if you need to. We apologize if this looks like a badly dubbed movie for a moment. Originally we had the audio of Lana talking about the different cabinets, but we didn't even think about it and we had our music playing in the background and just to be careful so that YouTube doesn't get upset with us using that music, we decided to cut it out. So here Lana's explaining what each of the drawers are. We had a chapstick drawer that was very minimal. We have Q-tips here at the bottom. And then on this side, you're gonna see it's more medicinal and um, for when you get sick slash so many thermometers, things like that. The reveal for this closet is coming up, but it's not the end of our video. Make sure to stick around for the bonus clip.
You can see it's just me that Lana's not here with me right now. She is in class, but I thought I'd get a head start on my linen closet because we've got a couple linen closets that we're going to be doing ahead. I moved into this place almost a year ago, and this is pretty much exactly how it's been for a year. So I am ready to take everything out um, and make it look fresh and new again, figure out what I even need in here and what I can get rid of. So uh, let's have some fun with it. Any kind of these, uh, uh, oh gosh, toiletries, but no, not even toiletries. I'm thinking more like shower gels, lotions. I'm gonna put that in this green bag for now. But cleaners, I am gonna be putting down here. I've got quite a bit of those. Um, and weirdly, specifically related to feet, I have a, a foot bath here, so I'm gonna temporarily put anything involving you know, pedicures or relaxation and feet there. So, okay, keep going. Know what a night solution is. Avoid contact with eye, so it's not an eye thing. I have no idea what this is for. A night solution, Mary Kay night solution. Oh, somebody tell me if that's something I need. And my little helper over here is Toaster, the one and only old man Toaster. He is more there for moral support and exploration, but I appreciate, you know, his supervision. We need a good boss to be in charge. How old is he now? Uh, about 16, I want to say. Oh my goodness, so old, but so cute! I definitely agree that that shelf liner needed to go, but I kind of like the wood that's underneath. Was there something wrong with it or why didn't it work? 
Well, it's actually like a particle board, so it's not like a smooth texture. It's kind of like choppy and rough. So yeah, that's, I liked how the aesthetic looked overall, but it just wasn't practical. Okay, so if you want to see a lot of work get done for not a lot of payout and kind of less attractive shelves, then that's what you're about to see here. I peeled these stickers forever and ultimately I wasn't 100% satisfied with the result, but at least they all match, but it wasn't perfect. With all the sticker peeling and tidying up, I had a lot of time to sit and daydream. First off, I couldn't help but realize that my shirt totally made me look like one of those burglars, like maybe even on The Sims, just coming in and stealing the most random useless stuff. Or even like, you know, a pirate. Well, you've always been this way, even since we were kids. You've always had a very active imagination. And before I knew it, I was back to reality with my vacuum. Why am I in the cleaning confession booth? Well, because I have a confession. I, sometimes when I'm organizing, I will leave boxes all over my house and not get to them for days, weeks, or even months. I know it's bad, but there's just so many projects and it can be overwhelming and basically that's my cleaning confession. But I am working on it. I am working on putting things away as soon as I'm done sorting them and not having uh, a whole room full of boxes like this one. Well, we all have a room like this in our house. Mine is my storage room, and it's something that I will get control over eventually. So now it was a new day, new start, new mistakes to be made, and you'll get to witness them personally. All right, so I got this easy liner from Walmart. It was 15 bucks. I got two of them because I wasn't sure how much I would need and I can always find places to uh, put this. So I'm gonna wrap these or lay this on top of, I'm not sure. And let's see what ends up looking better. To be honest, I was feeling pretty proud of myself. I had the staple gun out. I felt like a real working woman. And then I realized that this was not like wrapping a gift. This was a very different material. And it really is meant to be a liner, not to wrap all the way around. And so from one angle, when you see it put up, it looks great. But then from the other, you'll see in a moment, it's kind of you know, hanging and loose. So that is something I plan on fixing or just redoing the shelf liners, but I was too stubborn at this point and really wanted to finish the closet.
Hold on tight, I'm on my way Cause everything's perfect when I'm with you My love is just the game you play And I just need you to be true With me This little shelf basket is my favorite part of the whole closet. I put my Dyson vacuum attachment parts in there and then I put the Dyson on the floor behind it and I just love this little cute quaint storage. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more videos made by us, check out our YouTube cleaning playlist. We just want to say thank you for supporting our channel. We are grateful to each and every one of you. We're at over 200 subscribers and to thank you, we're doing a giveaway next week. Watch next week's episode to see if you're the winner. If you don't have time to watch a full YouTube episode of The Tidy 2, that's okay. Check out our TikTok where we have lots of clips and tricks to get you motivated to clean. Lastly, I know we ask all the time, but we're genuinely curious. What, what should we, we clean, clean next? next?